first off welcome to my channel guys and to my very first video Woo! thank you so much for choosing to watch little old me uh, so as you can see these are all the supplies that I'm using to color my hair and since I'm going dark I'm using just a 10 volume developer with ion color to just deposit it into my strands instructions say to use equal parts of both developer and color but I kept adding more developer until I got the consistency that I was looking for uh, something kind of loose but not thick at all so this is what you see here as my final result okay now i'm taking down this bird's nest on top of my head just looking over my previously faded color um it's giving very much dusty and dull so we're about to fix that in two seconds yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, y'all cast no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. Okay, y'all, so I'm fresh out the shower um, from shampooing, um, deep conditioning, and detangling my hair. So I'm just gonna continue on with my next step of this silk press. As you can see, I put my hair in a four jumbo twist. And first of all, I just wanna point out, look at my color. It's giving rich Ooh. and shiny. And my hair smells amazing. It feels soft. So definitely happy about that. 
Um, so what I'm about to do next is um, put in a leave-in spray. Um, this is kind of like creamy, but it's still lightweight at the same time. So I'm not gonna put too much though, cause I want this to be a silk press. So it needs to stay silky and not weigh down and heavy. Um, so I'm gonna spray this first and then I'm gonna go in with um, the little Olaplex um, serum on top of that. And for blow drying my hair, I will be using my favorite tool ever, the Revair. I love this thing. Um, I know they've come out with a newer version. I still have the old one. Um, Revair, if you're watching this, um, y'all can send me the new one if you want. That would be amazing. <laughs> but for now, I'm sticking with uh, my old one. Um, hold up, y'all. I don't even know why I took this twist out. Oh, well, to show y'all my color, but I need to get my clips. Hold on a second. Um, so both of these products say to apply them on um, damp hair, like towel dry damp hair. Um, this one actually you can apply it on damp or dry hair, but yeah, doing it on damp. And then this one, you definitely want to apply a small amount to damp towel dry hair, working upwards from roots to end. And again, this is what it's looking like. An even, rich, dark color. And it looks black, but y'all saw the name of the color was like, um, was it dark intense brown? And she's definitely giving intense. I'm just gonna lightly spray it in each big section. All right. Smush that in. And I'm gonna go around to each section first with this and then go back with the serum because I don't want to accidentally put the serum before the spray because I want the serum to be on top the last thing. And y'all um, learn from me and put some type of Vaseline or something on your edges because I did get stained. Um, I know it's gonna come off eventually. It's just the fact of eventually. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be stained, but it's all right. Oh, I didn't even say what this was. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat Slash UV Protective Primer. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be uh, heat protecting and basically like a leave-in conditioner in one. And then again, this is the Olaplex Nourishing Hair Serum and um, it's a serum that's supposed to protect, soften, and improve manageability. It has heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's supposed to help with style memory, detangling, and giving a satin shine. And I'm gonna go in, literally I'm gonna go in with a little bit because this is a serum and serums can definitely be heavy. So this is the consistency. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that much for each section because I don't want my hair weighed down for the umpteen time. Okay, yeah. That much per each big section. Starting off at the ends and working my way up. And splitting it to also make sure I'm getting the parts in between. All right, and then with praying hands, smushing that all in together. Ow. 
That freaking like popped my ear. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start over on this side in the back section since I did this one first. It's had time to let everything marinate and settle in the strands. Okay, so I am gonna take mm, pretty small pieces. Uh, sometimes I take big pieces with this red bear. It can handle a decent amount of hair and it'll let you know if it can't like you'll hear strange things yeah starting off with that small little section and i'm gonna do these side sections all around my whole head and then yeah i'll come back and show you guys um the blowout <laughs> y'all so this is one half clearly is one half of my head done um as y'all can see this rev air it may be expensive but it is the truth like look how sleek my hair is and it's not even straight yet like oh like everything's already flat and so it's so I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, meet y'all back once I have my entire head blowed out. And then we're gonna go on to the next step, which is the uh, flat iron. Okay guys, so here I am with both sides of my hair blown out. Again, shout out to Red Bear. It didn't have to do it, but it did. And this is what it's looking like.
Hey guys, so it's me from the future. Just wanted to pop in and say if I seem and look tired in these upcoming clips, it's because I absolutely was. I was up way too late doing my whole head from start to finish, so I will definitely try to make sure next time I am not giving y'all this super low energy. Okay, bye. So now I'm gonna go in and flat iron my whole head uh, with my Babyliss Pro Prima 3100. And I have it on 410 because I want my hair as bone straight as possible. And I'm also going in with my favorite little tool to um, use when I'm flat ironing my hair. It's a boar bristle brush and it just clamps on and helps your hair get even more sleek. Um, and But before I go in with both of those, I am going to put some Olaplex, their bonding oil number seven. Um, I'm gonna put it, focus it on my ends cause I am do for a trim which i am going to try to book with someone really soon but until then i'm gonna fake it till i make it and i'm just gonna yeah, quickly yeah. part my hair and let's do three oops about three drops per I was gonna say per section, but I'm just gonna put those three on this entire back half. And this oil, it has the heat protection in it too, for again, 450 degrees. So that's why, uh, another reason why I like it so much, just additional protection. And then it also adds some more shine. And I'm just gonna brush that in. Oh, and sorry y'all if you can hear my dog snoring. It's like two in the morning and I'm just up just cause, but he knows it's past his bedtime. So he went in his crate and he's just over there sleeping. Okay. All right, so I try to do like one and a half for the two sections up front. And you want, if you're using oil or anything, well, yeah, mainly oil, you definitely want to make sure you're not putting too much on your scalp because that will weigh down your hair at the root way faster than necessary. I'm low key tired. Why am I up flat ironing my hair? I don't know. So I will see you guys when I am done. Oh, and I'm taking, well, I'm going to take pretty small sections because again, I want this to be bone straight or as bone straight as I can get it. Just lay back and crack this window 
mom and dad's only daughter do I make you proud? Writing my life in lyrics to your like the sound. Seeking approval constantly. When it's my truth I own, I speak it all makes sense now. Give it a good, yeah. put that on good. When it gets hard, I stay on my job like. Okay guys, so these are my final results of my at-home silk press. Now, I'm not a professional, but it is definitely giving um, salon quality. Um, my hair looks amazing, it feels good, it has the movement. Um, so yeah, I can't ask for anything better for myself <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed watching today's video um be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and leave any comments um or suggestions anything you want to talk about in the um, comment section below this video um any other recommendations or any videos you guys want to see from me in the future be sure to leave those down below as well see you guys in the next video thanks for watching